Hey, what's up guys? Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't know where this video is going, but no one's home. So I was like, if no one's home, that means that I need to take advantage that no one's home and film something because I can be as loud and talk as much as I want. I just got back home. Yesterday was my birthday. I turned 24. And I'm just here with the pups. Um, I'm just going to do some emails because can you guys believe? Well, before we get into that, I think today's video is going to be a what I eat, another what I eat in the day. Today is Friday, so maybe things will change. Usually on the weekends, I kind of am not too strict. Um, as far as I don't really uh, count my macros and stuff like that, I kind of have an idea of what I'm eating. I need you to stop breathing for a sec. I just kind of, you know, obviously I don't have a cheat meal or anything, but like I don't go too crazy and like counting my macros and making sure that everything is like on point. But since it was my birthday yesterday, I'm not gonna lie guys, I had my cheat, my first ever cheat in two months. Um, which wasn't even really a cheat. I had one biscuit from where we went out to eat and they were like pretty small biscuits. They look exactly like the ones from Red Lobster and it was amazing. I'm not even gonna lie. And I decided to let myself have a biscuit because it was my birthday and yesterday I weighed myself and I lost another two pounds. So since I last talked to you guys, I don't know if I told you guys my weight, but since the last time that I did my keto video, I was weighing, how much was I weighing? 185 yes i was weighing 185 and since then i am now 180 i've lost a total of five pounds so i'm very happy with that so i decided i should give myself a little treat on my birthday i had anxiety the entire time of, what 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 oh my goodness ma'am that is my belt um yeah it was so freaking good and I've never given myself a treat. Guys, I'm not, I swear on everything. Like I would tell you guys if I cheated since I started the keto diet, I have not cheated. You can ask everyone around me, You like nothing. Like I've just been scared too because I've been doing so good that I just kind of don't want to screw it up and I don't want it to cause like a trigger and make me like binge eat, if that makes any sense. Look, I don't know. So we've had a total of 25 pounds lost, so I'm happy. If I lose two more pounds before the cruise and I hit the 170s, for sure I won't feel bad at all. Um, having my cheat there but but yeah that's where I'm at right now um, like I said before I'm just doing some emails right now because my job owes me like 600 maybe not my job because I'm employed by if you guys start fighting hey hello oh did you guys hear this now none of you are gonna have the damn toy <sighs> and you fucking relax being a mom of two is not easy not easy Oh my goodness, long story short, I am hired by a company that provides service on the beach and hotels like contract them and the location where I was at lost, well not lost the contract, they don't want to no longer work with the company that I work for, but that hotel pays you $25 per trip advisor you get. I'm sure you guys know what trip advisor is. I've gotten a total of 25 trip advisor reviews since the last time they paid me, which was in January, and they owe me about $625. You know what that is, sis? You know what I can do with $625? A lot. So I'm sending an email to literally um, the GM and HR of the hotel of all of my trip advisors highlighted and in numerical order um, because I'm getting paid that money. I did not spend one year of my life in that hotel busting my ass because they promised us trip advisor money and I'm gonna get it paid before the contract is over because if not, someone is catching these hands. So that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know what else I'm gonna do on this lovely Friday. Um, so I think I'm just going to make myself some food and then see where else the day takes me. I'll probably just end up binge watching American Horror Story and editing this whatever video that I'm doing. Um, Cult, which is the one before this one, The Apocalypse, um, is on Netflix. And I never finished watching it um, on TV because I just like watching American Horror Story when it's already on Netflix so I can just binge watch all of it. I have no patience to watch it every week. That's why this new season is killing me because I love the new season. Is anyone else obsessed with American Horror Story like I am? I'm sure you guys are annoyed of me by talking this much. I want to see what I eat. Should we eat something, Summer? Because I don't know if I'm hungry yet. Huh? Should we? I don't know. You just got me really pissed. And now just because... 
My dog has pretty girl syndrome. You have pretty girl syndrome. Because you can get away with anything because you got a pretty face. I'll see you guys in a bit when I decide to get fucking hungry. So, hey, what's up, guys? I am back. I got my email sent to the GM of the hotel, and boy, oh boy, that email was very much so intense. It's only 12 o'clock, and I'm really not that hungry, but, I'm, but I do have a sweet tooth, so I don't know if I want to do, like, a bulletproof frap, or if I want to do, like, a salad, or have, like, an avocado because the avocado sounds pretty good and I think that's what I'm gonna kind of go for. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I'm not really that hungry but I do wanna get some good fats in and I do wanna get my fat levels going, my fat levels, like my ketones up because since I did have a biscuit yesterday for sure that shit kicked me out of ketosis. No like if ands or buts for sure did so I definitely wanna get my fat up. So I'm stuck in between having a bulletproof frap or having the avocado. The bulletproof wrap, I would get my fats in because of the MCT oil, which is good fats, and then I would also get my fats in from the avocado. But I don't know which one to do, because if I do the MCT oil, it'll be a lot more fat than the avocado, but I don't know what I'm gonna eat later, and I don't want to go too overboard on my fat. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the frap because I'm not that hungry, but I can go for something sweet. I'm gonna show you guys how to do my chocolate bulletproof frap. It's absolutely delicious. So these are the things that you're gonna need. MCT oil, Hershey powder, 100% cacao, naturally unsweetened, and then I have cinnamon and my favorite uh, vanilla caramel syrup that I like to add a little bit. So we're gonna have this much coffee. And then we are going to put some almond milk. The one that I use is the unsweetened vanilla. So it's no carbs for one whole cup and it's 30 calories per serving. So we're gonna do about one tablespoon. Should we do two? Let's do two. Boop, 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 boop. Should I do one whole tablespoon? Let's do one whole tablespoon. Let's get those good fats in, get us back to ketosis because I fucked up and I had a biscuit yesterday but it was my birthday so it was with all good intentions. I think I deserved it. And then we're gonna do one tablespoon of MCT oil. I know this seems really disgusting, but I promise it's really, really good for you. And that's 14 grams of fat. <laughs> okay, so we have quarter cup of coffee, two tablespoon of unsweetened almond milk vanilla, one tablespoon of MCT oil. I'm gonna put in some cinnamon. Cinnamon. We're gonna go in for the Hershey's, which will give it that kind of mocha taste. Um, and it's one gram of carb per tablespoon. I don't use that much. I don't feel like it needs. I feel like this it's very, very strong. And then like a teaspoon of the chocolate and then one little dash of the syrup. And then we're gonna add some ice and blend it. And let's see how this comes out. I haven't done this in a long time, but this is one of the easiest ways that I can get my good fats in when I have a sweet tooth. Sometimes I sweeten it with stevia. Um, the pack of stevia that I have, each one is a carb. I don't want to waste my carb on stevia. I don't really need it to be that sweet. Did I break this? Oh my goodness. Oh, fuck me. I think I broke my fucking thing, guys. Oh no. <laughs> it's stuck. It is stuck. Come on. So maybe the frap wasn't a good idea. I'm about to go and buy me a fucking burger at Wendy's. Okay guys, so I'm really sorry that I cannot have this on camera, but at least you guys got my recipe for the most part. I'd probably say in all of this, um, it's maybe one carb because of the Hershey's, um, because the MCT oil has no carbs, uh, the syrup has no carbs, the almond milk has no carbs, the coffee might, so you know what? Two carbs. So. I'd probably say that the bulletproof frap uh, is about two net carbs. Um, we got about 14 to 15 grams of fat, which is pretty, pretty good. But I mean, I guess this is kind of like a recipe video for you guys. Look, I'm sorry. I am dying to have this. Do you see how good it looks? Tutorial. Also, since we're already here talking about food and keto, if you're more on the ice cream side and you're really craving ice cream, um, I found these so delicious dairy-free fudge pops. I threw away the box. I found these at Whole Foods. They come in a pack of four and oh my goodness. Each one of these are two net carbs, so that's really good. Obviously, there's not a lot of fat in these. If you're looking for more fats in, I'd rather say just do it on your own and make your own fraps. 
and your own popsicles. Um, if not, if you want something quick and easy as far as a dessert that's low in carb, I definitely recommend these. And these are fudge pops and they are dairy free. They are made with coconut milk. And again, these are the so delicious dairy free fudge pops that you can find, well that I found at Whole Foods. So we are basically back to square one. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but until then, I'll let you guys know what I do. Hey guys, uh, I just took a shower, did some things around my room. I still haven't had anything to eat since my incident with the bulletproof wrap, but I definitely do wanna have a snack, so this has honestly been uh, one of my favorite snacks recently. Uh, I got this taco chicken breast dip from Publix, and this has roasted chiles, cheddar cheese, sour cream, and taco seasoning, and it's so, so, so good. Um, for two tablespoons, it's just one carb, so that's really good, so I like to pair this with a little bit of pork rinds, spicy pork rinds, and I love it. Okay, guys, and there you go. The taco dip with a little bit of pork rinds, and then I also used up half of an avocado that I didn't have the other day, and I just put some Mexican crema, a little bit of cotija cheese and a little bit of habanero salsa and yep yeah, that's kind of like my little lunch slash snack and also breaking my fast let's see where i'm at so oh my goodness tell me this picture isn't the cutest thing on this planet like how excited am i to be on poo's ass honestly so we are going to go ahead and break Hour fast let's see where we're at 18 hours not bad so there you go boom no let's not delete that boom there you go time to dig in and to drink hmm. to drink I might have a Zivia I found these at um, Whole Foods that's where I usually get my Zivia or at Target but Target only has limited um flavors Whole Foods usually has all the flavors and I got Mountain Zivia strawberry which i don't know what the hell that's going to taste like it's probably going to be super sweet but i love anything strawberry and orange because i love orange soda so hmm, i don't think i want to waste the soda right now and i don't want it to lose gas because i don't want to drink all of it so i probably won't have that maybe i'll go for some water what do you think hmm um i still haven't done anything honestly I don't know what it is, but yesterday on my birthday, I didn't really do much. I just kind of binged watch American Horror Story. I relaxed. I've just been in that kind of mood lately. Like, I haven't really been wanting to do a lot of things. Um, my plan today was to go thrift shopping with my cousin and get some things for the cruise. And, you know, do some shopping for myself. But honestly, like, the thought of the traffic and the weather, it's like raining and then... I just, I'm just not in the mood. And surprisingly, that one, call me over exaggerated, but that one biscuit yesterday just did not hit my stomach good at all. So I've been feeling really bloated. And the last thing I want to do is go shopping when I feel bloated. I had my snack a little while ago. I just ordered some wings on Uber Eats. Uh, and I had I had like wings yesterday as like an appetizer for my birthday when I went out to eat. Um, but when I'm usually not really craving much, I always just go to my favorite food on keto and in normal life, which is wings. So I just went ahead and got some wings, and I'm just going to wait on that. And I'm just going to have that for dinner and call it a day. Probably have like a popsicle or something for dessert. Nothing too crazy. I don't think I'm going to do anything. Honestly, I think I'm just going to sit this one out. Be a lazy Friday like I like it to be. <laughs> Yay, food is here. I'm so hungry. But what I'm hella pissed off about is that they forgot my fucking ranch. How can you forget ranch? How can you forget ranch? Like, it's not going to be the same. <sighs> I'm angry. So, honestly, that was shit. I did not enjoy my meal at all. I think what I enjoyed the most out of everything was this damn soda. The wings were cold. Um, I got three different flavors. They only gave me two. I asked for them to be fried. They were grilled and like soggy and gross. They forgot my ranch. And I tried this ranch that I got at Whole Foods. 
which is this one and it's literal shit. This is disgusting. I hate when I eat things and I did not enjoy them. I feel like it was just like a waste of a meal. It was just not good. That was a little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't worth it. Well, I mean, at least it was wings. So I know there wasn't a lot of carbs in the wings. So I mean, as far as carb wise, I don't feel guilty. Today's food just kind of sucked. I think I'm just gonna wait for my mom to get home and have some popsicles with her. The ones that I have left, the, the fudge bars, the so delicious dairy-free fudge bars. So I'm just gonna wait on her to have these because she called me saying, hoping that we had some, she's had a stressful day. So she wants to have one. So I'm gonna have one with her. And I think that's about it for food today, guys. My food sucked today, Bruno. First the frat and now the wings and not only that like i don't know why every time i do postmates or uber eats i never am satisfied something is always wrong and i don't know how something so simple can go so wrong when i put on their extra ranch and extra sauce and they gave me none so that kind of sucks usually in times like this you know what i do I'll tell you what I do. I end up putting a complaint and then I end up getting like free delivery on my next thing, which I mean, I guess, I mean, what you save like five, six bucks. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now, guys. Um, I'm a little disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Hey guys. So I completely realized that I did not do an outro for my video and it's Monday and I filmed this video on Friday. So this is a pretty late outro. Since then, I have lost one pound. So we are at 179 people. We hit the 170s. So I am extremely happy. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically it, folks. I just wanted to do an outro because I feel like if I would have ended the video in the last clip, it would just kind of leave you guys like, okay, like what's going on. So yeah that was it i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next one Mwah.